Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. A fairly pleasant day across the Concho Valley and for much of Texas as well. We did see some of those low level clouds out in the eastern parts of Texas just outside the Concho Valley. Just scraping parts of Junction, even parts of Mason may have seen some of those lower level clouds as we started today. We're going to continue to see that rebuild as we go through the overnight hours as well. And again, just showing you how it kind of just cut off on these southeastern parts. Brady, Mason, and Junction starting to see a little bit of a clear out, but as we go through the overnight hours, we're going to continue to see that moisture rebuild build from the south and that's going to give us the chance for some patchy fog as well as some drizzle through the overnight hours and into the early morning hours for tomorrow. Otherwise, 63 in downtown San Angelo right now. Again, southerly winds at 7 miles per hour. That was the reason for the big warm up. Again, we saw that warm air move into the area. Big change from what we saw yesterday where temperatures struggled to get into the low 40s. We quickly saw us climbing up into the 60s. 60s for much of the area. A couple 50s as well. 58 in Robert Lee, 62 here in San Angelo, 61 in El Dorado. Back further east, though, we saw it a little bit cooler, and that was because of that increased cloud coverage. Only in the 40s, 43 in both Coleman and Brady, 46 out in Mason. So, again, that increased cloud coverage helping to block out some of that sunlight and kept things just a tad bit cooler as well. Temperature change. With those southerly winds, feeling the impacts of it, about 10 to 25 degrees warmer than what we were this time yesterday. We're not going to be nearly as, or we're not going to see nearly as big of an increase at going into tomorrow, but we will see a warming trend continue for us tomorrow. Part cloudy, patchy fog expected for us tonight. That's going to develop with temperatures falling into the mid 40s. Southerly winds relatively quiet. Again, during the early morning hours, we'll start to see it. Uh, begin to dissipate, and then that's going to break for some relatively clear skies. Again, decreasing cloud coverage as we go into the afternoon hours. That's going to allow for higher temperatures. Temperatures returning to the mid 70s, 75 are high, and we'll see those gusty winds with gusts up to 25 miles per hour at times. You know, definitely see a of gust as we go into the peak afternoon hours as well. So. Going through the overnight hours, we'll look at relatively quiet conditions. Really starting to ramp up during the afternoon on Saturday. And then as we go into Sunday, we'll, we'll have another front kind of come through. Not going to bring us any rain, but it's going to see those winds turn more out of the north. That's going to allow for those cooler temperatures to start returning back here in the Concho Valley. It's going to drop our afternoon highs back down into the 60s. Sure, weekend forecast looks like this. 75 for us on Saturday. That's going to be the warmer of the two days. Breezy for both of them, but again, much cooler for us on Sunday as temperatures only get into the lower 60s. And then with the upper level pattern, we'll be searching towards the west as we look for a cutoff low. Starting to start to bring some of that instability towards our area. Once we couple that instability with moisture from the southwest, well, late on Wednesday and going into Thursday morning, we could see start to see uh, some scattered showers as it passes through our area. That could be some beneficial rain for much of the area. A lot of people looking forward to that. So again, staying dry through the weekend, pretty warm and breezy. And we see those rain chances returning for us on Wednesday, late Wednesday, early into Thursday morning.